I'm Evangelist Reginald Benjamin, the Executive Director of ABBA Leadership Center. This is Mr. Robinson, our job developer with ABBA Leadership Center. And this is uh, Sean Hill, who is the supervisor of the guys on this particular site. Uh, we have some other guys at other sites that are here as well. But all of these guys in one unison is simply looking for an opportunity to go to work. They're not looking for a handout, they're looking for a hand up. And I believe that this village owe it to this community. My name is Sean Hill, I supervise Metro 303. This site actually helped me and it changed my life because before I came here it was something different. This keeps me focused, out of trouble, and level-minded with the family and family and friends that also help me get things done. ABBA took, took me forward. It was nothing to look back from once I got with ABBA. Uh, hello, my name is Troy Bell. I've been here over 13 months. I was the first guy, me and another guy that passed away was the first guy that started working on this site. This site changed my life in a lot of different ways. It taught me responsibility. It taught me uh, to be on time. It taught me to work hard. And not always looking for gratitude, just looking for, just being good with myself and all. And ABBA, ABBA took me from a spot that I ain't never been in my life. The low part of my life, it gave me a job. This man helped me such as, and Mr. Reverend Avengers. Reverend Benjamin helped me out. I've been here for so long now to the point that after this job is over, hopefully I can get me a maintenance position here in this building. This building is all I got basically. I cherish this building. I come Monday through Saturday, it doesn't matter. Just because I appreciate them for giving me a chance. One of the other things that seems to be very alarming to me is the fact that the uh, they're getting ready to put a $2.5 billion uh, redevelopment project in place starting um, 2013. We, are, we want the developer to ensure us that the local residents will be on the first consideration for any of the jobs that are coming to the village of Hempstead. We want that to be put as, into a CBA plan um, development program. We want um, to make sure uh, that the developer do not then get the contract or get the business and then um, disregard the community. I happen to sit on the CBA job development and uh, contract uh, 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 committee uh, for this program and we're looking forward to the developer to put some substantial funding into training our guys so that the excuse of them not having training or experience will not uh, come into play. I believe um, out of a $2.5 billion uh, project, uh, the village of Hempstead uh, and the developers can afford a training program. This project is supposed to last over 10 years. If these guys are given the opportunity, they can have a career. We're talking about uh, a people in a community that are suffering economically. There's a high crime rate in this area. There's a lot of uh, drug abuse in this area. And one of the reasons why these things are going on is because people have lost hope. People are discouraged and really don't know what to do. Um, so with the development and with the programs coming into the village, this will turn that scenario around. I mean, we have testimony already of guys that have uh, done tremendous uh, in terms of reconciling with their family, take, providing for their children, and lives are being changed. The hope for this community as a result of just this little project, this 303 Metro project have gotten close to 50 guys work and that has reverberated throughout this community. So many people are sending their men and their women to us uh, because they see this as an opportunity to go to work. So I would like to serve notice on the Renaissance downtown. Please do not bring outsiders into our community to take jobs that rightfully belong to the village resident. I want to thank you for this time and God bless.